a great search brought to you by DigiKey and Native Root. Thank you, DigiKey. Every week, Lady Ideas are part of engineering. Help you guess you find the things that you're looking for <clears throat> on DigiKey.com. Lady Ada, what are you looking for on DigiKey.com this week? Well, uh, in celebration of the Raspberry Pi 5 release, um, there is this new thing, the PCIe connector slot. And there's going to be an, an M2 hat that comes out. This has been announced from the you know, Raspberry Pi training company. Uh, so you could plug in you know, anything that has an M2 uh, connection, which I don't have an M2 card here, I don't think. Oh, no, I do. Let's go quickly to the overhead and I'll just show it off because I happen to, I happen to have one. So this is my, this is what uh, M2 looks like. This is a, a long, this is a 2280 M2. And we covered M2 connectors before, um, but this is kind of, you know, a, a thin PCB and it plugs into, it snaps into, um, you know, these M2 connectors, the notch has to line up. And then uh, you could add, uh, you know, very common thing is adding disk storage, but also cellular mo modules are pretty common, um, like security tokens, you know, whatever, uh, accelerators and uh, other configurations. So M2 is the physical format. PCIe is the um, standard of connectivity. So let's go back to the computer and I'll, I'll show that. Cause this was kind of mixed up in my mind. I was like, oh, is, is M2 and PCIe the same thing? No, but uh, there's sometimes you can use M2 shapes with PCIe wiring. Um, so PCIe comes in um, a couple different sizes. There's up here four, 16, and one. And the one, four and 16, is how many lanes of differential data they carry. Um, in this case, on the Raspberry Pi 5, if I'm not mistaken, it's a single lane, which is still plenty, you know, like, it's it's a lot. There's other lanes, but apparently they're used for other tasks, maybe to control, communicate with the Southbridge or whatever. So, um, however, you know, this is just an electrical standard. This is a mechanical shape. So if you come down here and there's another PCIe, you can see um, a single slot. Let's see, go down. Okay, so they say like, okay, here's, here's how many um, pins you get. I'm gonna just zoom out here. So if you have one lane, you only have like this 18 pin times two sides. Um, so 36 pins total configuration. And then if it's four lanes, it keeps going. You have like another set of pins and it goes up to 64. And then if you keep going up to eight pins, it's 49, so you know, 98. And then all the way, you know, 16 full lanes, which is like some massive video card, you get 82 pins or 164 total. So what we want to do is we want to get um, a PCIe connector and we can make a little adapter from the flex cable on the Raspberry Pi to PCIe 1X. So let's go to DigiKey and do that. So good news is that if you just type in PCIe, it'll actually come up with a bunch of edge board connectors, which is what we're looking for. So um, let me just take a look. Yeah, these look good. So one thing is I do want to have it stick up, not to the side, because some cards have like, yeah, they're meant to plug into uh, you know, a motherboard. And so they're, they're slotted and they can be a little wide. I don't want something that requires right angle connection. Um, Unless, you know, the PCB is cut over. I, I prefer to have it just be vertical and be done with it because that way you can uh, plug it in. And, you know, what's nice is that you can get a uh, through hole as well as surface mount. But I'm going to be looking for surface mount. So let's start looking. We're going to look for active. And uh, let's just start with that. So it's active and then like normally stocking and no marketplace. So we can just narrow it down already to 320. So the next thing is we need to know the card thickness. So it looks like there's like slim cards, or actually let's do the positions. So as we looked over, oh, sorry. sorry. Wikipedia. As we looked over here for one X, it's 36 pins. So let's do 36 pins. 
And then card thickness, yeah, that's right. You know, there's uh, it's basically one PCB thick. It's just card head connect. And then we can decide how we want it to, to be connected. Do we want through hole like this or surface mount? I'm gonna go with surface mount. So let's go to surface mount, although there is through hole as well. And then um, let's see what we got here. We've got a couple options. Um, what I like about this one is it even comes with a pick and place uh, connector, but you can see uh, it's got a nice um, solder retention, the big tabs on the side uh, to make it sit in place. This one doesn't look quite right. This one looks good. It looks like there's actually quite a few options, which is kind of nice. Um, I don't really care if it's, well, I guess we can get in tape and reel to start. Uh, not tray because you know if we want to pick in place and I want to make sure that it comes in the right uh, in tape it'll be a very thick tape uh, yeah these all say pick in place so that's good contact material I don't really know if that makes a difference and then let's just look at uh, you know pricing let's see what's available so this one I think is some odd thing but this looks right 36 pin position you know two dollars Let's look at the 360 of it. Let's see if I'm loaded up. Yeah, it looks nice, right? Like, oh, there's even a little board guide, big solder tabs, and then solder connections. So you don't have to tell people, like, don't yank back and forth, just slot it down. Uh, but this connector would look really good and could uh, would make for a nice adapter. So then all we need to do is make a PCB that takes the FPC connector that's used on the Pi 5 and just follow the pin out, wire it directly to the PCIe slot because it's just a mechanical change and we're golden. So this is my pick from Amphenol, a PCI Mini Express SMT module. And that's a great search.